out with a lot of Kai ukulele and I'm gonna review it right now. Balanakai S T E E E Q. And no, I won't sing it all the way through because I think that would really upset you. So let me stop and tell you what I'm gonna do. Hi, I'm I'm Mike. Uh, I got, you know, I, oh gosh, I'm just, uh, hi, how you doing there? Uh, I want to talk about the Lanakai uh, STEQ. Uh, spruce top tenor ukulele, it's so wonderful. You don't need to see me, I, that's no fun. You want to look at this, it's beautiful, look at that. The wood on this, I can't tell you, the, the camera can't, I don't know if it can do it justice or not, but the grain is just so beautiful. I almost thought it was kind of like a herringbone sort of thing, but but I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of like the top of a of a nicely worn in Martin. I mean, just beautiful. I don't know if it's a solid top. I, I haven't really been able to check, but I, I can tell you it is spruce and it really pops and it's and it's nice. Got a nice gloss gloss all over the whole thing. A um, couple of other things. Tenor size. We've talked about that. Uh, maple neck, but the uh, the uh, the fretboard is rosewood. Nice uh, uh, finish on the. On the neck up here, this is not an inlay. It's a, you know, like it's a, a silk screen, but it's still nice. Uh, tuners, uh, you got four of them, and that's good because there's four strings on this, so that always helps. But uh, one of the nice things about it is that it's got the enclosed geared tuners. Um, now I know some people are real purists and they, you know, really only want the friction pegs or things that at least look like friction pegs. But these are wonderful, and um, my C string is kind of a little bit loose. Not the string itself, but the tuner. But uh, it, it doesn't not not to a point where it affects anything. Some nice seal tuners. Real happy with that fret work on this. Absolutely beautiful. I can run my finger along the edge, and I could do that when I first got this, and I am not cutting myself at all. It is so. I'll tell you, that's the thing about this. I'd let you see me for one second. You know, I'll, okay, let's get back on that. Um, the fit and finish of this, I, I don't know whether that's the appropriate term to use. I can't find any flaws with it. I really, I really can't. And that's even after I've dropped it around and knocked it about a little bit. I mean, this is, I just love this uh, ukulele. It, it's absolutely one of my favorites. The nice thing, the only complaint that I would have, and this is general stuff here, uh, it is electronic, and I'll get on with that too. The electronic, the, the output jack, uh, because it's probably a smaller one, because it's kind of an inexpensive uh, system in there. We'll talk about that. Although I'm not disappointed by it at all. I absolutely love the electronics on this. But anyway, getting back, the jack is there. Here's something that I'm going to tell you. I really have a preference for the jack being mounted right at the bottom, because when I'm playing, a lot of times I play sitting down. Look, look where this is where the jack is, and see it's you know, so I'm almost compelled to use like a 90 degree angle jack. I, I always wondered what people used them for. Now I really find out that that would be a, a valuable use. Uh, I, I know they used them on top mounted jack guitars too. But uh, anyway, so so um, you want to hear what it sounds like. I know that. Now I have to be honest with you. I have Savarez strings on here. It came with the Killer Nile guts. And it was really tough for me to decide whether or not I wanted to take them off. Because I, I love those and, the, and those were real nice. But but I really do like the, the mellowness of the Savarez, and they feel so good on your fingers. You could get the same effect really with a set of Worth strings as well, the Worth Clears. They're, they're, they all have that floral carbon, wonderful, beautiful feel. And it really did round out the tone, and you know, I think that's nice when you have a spruce top that's going to give you a little punchier, little more ability to cut through. I think that was a good thing for it for it to uh, for it to do. Uh, but anyway, so aside the, the only complaint I have is that I wish the jack was there. The problem is is that you got to go through the block, and so the the jack, you know, the the threading has to be longer. And I think they're using just kind of this stock uh, jack on there. So so that's. But, but, you know, that's a minor issue, but the sound is just beautiful. Okay, we're talking about electronics. Um, this is the uh, Bellcat UK2000. I think now it comes shipped with Shadow uh, Electronics. Uh, I think a P3, but I can't say for sure. But either way, what it is, and it's all hidden in here, but I think the best way to amplify ukulele, and that is with the undersaddle uh, um, transducer, the little wire that runs on there. Uh, Piezo, Piezo, Piazzo, I really don't know how to pronounce it. So I'll say it all three ways. And you know what? I'll bet there's a fourth way that's right that I didn't even get. But anyway, uh, so it goes underneath the, the, uh, the uh, saddle. 
uh, and, and I think that's the best way to amplify. I've, I've tried using internal mics. Uh, I've tried using a number of other things. I don't like it so much. Okay. So anyway, uh, Rosewood Bridge. Um, the, the saddle, by the way, is a synthetic material, as is the nut. It's not just a plastic. Uh, it's kind of like bone, but it's not really bone and it's not really plastic. It's uh, bone elastic or something. No, they have a name for it, but I was too lazy to go on the website before I did this. I'm just kind of doing this review off the top of my head like you can't tell and um, you know just trying to see what I can do here but anyway so uh, looking at the top here look at the the, the beautiful uh, workmanship though on the I believe that's mahogany uh, around the back and sides it looks just beautiful finished really well things I like are just the little detail things um, like the nice uh, black uh, inset line that's that's running down there uh, and then the black and white binding around it, the little rosette. Uh, very simple, but it looks like a guitar. It looks like you're playing a little guitar, you know. So if I was going to do, 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 I'm just a middle-aged guy with a ukulele, you know, whatever I want to do or something like that, or if I want to, um, Not playing very well tonight, but anyway, I'm just more interested in giving you a review. But that's kind of the nice mellow sound it has here. Really, uh, you know, I mean, just excellent tone. I love it. And amplified, it sounds great. This, this, by the way, is not amplified. This is just me playing it, you know, natural sound. Uh, whatever the the, um, the the thing will pick up. But anyway, so this is this is your um, STEQ uh, Lanakai, the um, spruce top tenor. Um, you know, uh, there's not much more I can say about it other than I just love it. I love the way it plays. Neck profile is wonderful. Super fast neck if you wanna if you wanna like you know go up and down the neck. I mean you know I have no problem here. You know I'm always playing. And for some reason I can't think of anything to play, but. thing that I didn't like uh, on this and that I that I actually did later uh, is I added uh, some markers you can't really see them because they're kind of light themselves on the side here because it doesn't come with side dot markers that's another little complaint I would have but listen I gotta tell you for this I, I think I got this I, for well under two hundred dollars this is a beautiful ukulele if you have a chance if you see it you play it it feels right don't hesitate to pick this up you will not be disappointed by it as long as you the action feels good to you the action on this came I haven't done a thing to it uh, shipped beautifully in this way. So this is the uh, STEQ Lanakai Tenor Spruce Top. I really think you'll like it, and uh, and you know we're we're like we're really good friends, and I'm so happy with this. I look so goofy, but you know what? I don't care because um, I really do. I'm serious. I really do love this this uh, this ukulele, and uh, I love the Boulder Creek that I use too. I have my Boulder Creek Riptide, which is also a uh, spruce top tenor, and I, I love that too, okay? And and it's close by, so I don't want to start any arguments. Uh, so I can't pick a favorite. I really can't. But uh, I've been using this. This is kind of my go-to, and, and it's nice because it plugs in. So when I play a gig on the rare occasion when somebody uh, asks me to play, uh, and on the really rare occasion when somebody pays me to play, I'm, like, really, you know, happy to play.